Yo, what up guys? Welcome to uh, the very first edition of Coach Eckstein. That's right. Um, today we are going to be watching this red team um, in on Granary and uh, seeing how they do. They are uh, also interested and in really focusing on how they run the mid fight. And as we see, the roaming soldier went for the garage, jumping up, tries to jump up top, but actually misses his jump and then gets taken out by the demo man. Uh, who isn't really getting pressured, and now look at the red team, really getting spammed back. Uh, they've taken a lot of damage, and um, they're just going to get pressured backwards, so blue team knows that they are fading, and uh, they're just keeping the pressure up while they cap the middle point. But it looks like the red team is uh, responding at least all right. They have um, hold up with their uber, and are, are trying to protect the second point. We see the stickies going down, but also not really watching that right entrance, at least solidly. The scout is getting behind, uh, Uber's forced to, uh, to be popped, but that's all right because the um, blue team popped as well. And um, I was trying to see if there's a soldier over there. Uh, so far, you know, again, besides uh, letting that one scout slip past, um, red team is playing pretty well here. And the frags have gone their way. It is a five on three, and they are pushing forward. Uh, very smart stuff here. And uh, coming in. So, uh, this series, uh, Coach Eckstein, um, I'll just do it, be doing it off of uh, demos that people send in, uh, whether it is um, STV demos like this one or POV demos. Uh, if it's a POV, then obviously I'm going to be forced to, you know, oh, state trap. Uh, Got to watch out for those. But again, uh, red team's doing fine. If you lose somebody to something like that, you just got to hang back. That's what they do. They get a pick, so the blue team is not going to come in. Uh, it looks like Demo Man's up there. They respond to it. And um, pretty pretty good containing. You just gotta hang back. They are, they do have the Uber, but due to the loss of their players, they're not gonna be really able to push the advantage too much. Though it looks like they are coming in now. Let's see how this works out for them. Looks like they're coming in cautious. Getting a bit of spam, and uh, that blue scout actually scared his own um, soldier. And here, actually, they have to come back for this uh, back cap, uh, which uh, blue team must have uh, snuck in through the choke. Um, and, um, oh, good stuff there by Skavas. Um, you gotta, you know, respond to, hopefully your medic was telling you that that soldier was up there. Always tough, but definitely gotta protect the medic. And, um, you know, it seemed like, uh, we didn't have the best camera angle on here, but it seemed like, uh, you know, they allowed the blue team to, uh, counteract, uh, counterattack through the choke. Um, and that is what made a major difference in them losing this point. So, um... You know, in this situation right now, you can't really uh, defend the second point uh, very well. You've lost so many players. Looks like Yuki uh, does a, a nice little hiding spot up there and uh, picks uh, Rocket Man, who um, I think I just played with the other day. Rocket something. Um, <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so anyways, um, Red Team, that, that was a good pick by Yuki, and it looks like they're holding up their defense pretty well. Uh, you know keys to the defense here are uh, watching the point watching the doors looks like the demo man has drifted to the right side uh, but Yuki and DBZ are doing well but uh, I think this uber is gonna punish them and it looks like they should have uh, gotten back uh, quite a further distance they were standing really close kind of um, you know really close to the second point uh, when they only had 70% uh, and uh, the other team you know after capturing mid you had to have figured uh, that they had the uber advantage and um, you know if the other team has uber and you don't you have to be ready for them to attack you and be ready to fall back all the way so the scouts are doing good pressure I mean uh, red team got the frags it worked out in their favor but uh, you know we're not even necessarily looking at which team is winning here we're just looking at how they are playing um, and uh, yeah I, I really don't have much information on the red team here I uh, don't even know uh, which one of them actually submitted this to me uh, as uh, the email I got it from was like Rody Ratted or something weird, um, but uh, it was the it was the first clip uh, submitted for this, and um, you know I've been asking for him, so I felt like it was uh, my uh, my honor to uh, present this as the first clip of Coach Eckstein. <clears throat> now uh, Blue Team is getting ready to attack. Let's see what's up with Red Team. Also, probably be minimal editing on some of these, uh, although of course I'll also probably have some editions of it where you know we look at just one round in particular and like really really break down just uh, what went wrong on a particular section um, but uh, you know red team is holding up blue team is uh, working their uber they have it 
Looks like they're coming in here. Good jump to force the Uber, uh, but the rest of the team's got to scatter. Looks like they're um, avoiding damage until they get the Uber, and this is uh, looking to be a very good counter Uber. Um, and we'll see how far they just choose to push this in with those stickies gone. So they just got to watch out for that demo, man. Um, but in the meantime, looks like uh, somebody else is doing work. Yeah, really good flank from the uh, demo man and the scout. So uh, great stuff there because the uh, two soldiers in the medic were, were tying down the demo man um, and you know basically just gathering the whole attention of the blue team. Uh, and then the demo man and the scouts worked the flanks and took them out. So good stuff there. Hey, what is this? Just a little test that is uh, still left in there, but... <clears throat> um, I like those stickies, nice stuff. So, uh, red team is pushing in. Oh, uh, dang it. Uh, I missed this, but uh, I, I saw it briefly when I was uh, watching this demo. Just doing some testing earlier. And um, they got screwed because the uh, soldier was hiding in the spawn here and then jumped out. And, uh, you know, that's that's a tough one to stop. Um, you know, I mean, y you obviously want to keep an eye on it, but um, they actually did have, you know, quite a few players around. Some who you would have thought would have had good eyesight, uh, but weren't quite able to pull it off. So, uh, threatening a back cap, but uh, looks like somebody was back there. Uh, the scout Flynn, probably, since he's all banged up. Somebody was back there defending it. So, looks like Red Team is again out of position, though. They actually don't have Uber at all. Um, I've been uh, slipping into my old regular commentary camera work. I was following blue team instead of looking at red team. But red team was definitely out of position as they only had 20% Uber. Um, you know, I mean, it's easy for us to see that as spectators, but that sort of awareness of where you are at with the Uber and where the enemy team is at with the Uber is absolutely crucial. So Super Jeeves going down here, and then um, it's just kind of down, you know, downhill from that um, as Nerd Slapper doing what he can, but. Um, eventually getting taken out, and um, blue team, yeah, they're, sorry, <laughs> my, my fingers slipped. Uh, blue team pressuring in very well here, uh, surprisingly not getting down the medic, although here comes the combo, and the uh, bombing soldier really just opened things up there. So, uh, that was, um, you know, um, sometimes you get a little too caught up uh, just trying to defend every single point, and, uh, you know, sometimes you definitely just have to drop the second point and say, like, there's no point just trying to defend the point with one person you just got to get out here so uh we'll watch the uh, roll out closely here uh looks like medic has stopped healing for just a second and um his uh yeah he's definitely out of sync with his soldiers here um you know you want the medic always healing somebody and check out the heals too right now yuki is full but dbz has very low health jumps on top of the boxes is slow on the boxes and ska boss gets uh, behind does huge damage to jeeves and um then they get uh, stuck in that corner there. So um, I think that's definitely a little bit of a rollout issue. Um, as uh, you know, you got to keep somebody being healed by the medic at, at, at uh, all times. I think DBZ was actually a little too fast and uh, missed some chances for him to get buffs. And then you know he wasn't very buffed, and then he jumped on the on the crates with low health. Uh, alum, uh, alum doing uh, good work there, uh, pressuring the drop, and Jeeves was able to uh, survive that middle encounter, which means uh, Red Team should be able to p post a good defense on the second point. Um, and inside, oh man. Okay, good, good, good. So uh, I saw that Red Team uh, used the Uber, but obviously we were out of position a little bit with the camera work. Um, and I was just going to say that I was really hoping that they would were pushing in at that moment. Oh, <laughs> great pipe there. Um, Oh man, I was gonna hide my. Uh... Oh man, that is so obnoxious. <clears throat> Novice out here, apparently on uh, Coach Eckstein. Uh, my apologies for the camera work. Um, but uh, yeah, I was gonna say that red team, you know, in that past instance, really, really needed to push in. Uh, they did. It, it faltered, but um, you know, it was the right tactical move to do. So, uh, you know, maybe you guys just need to work on, you know, how smooth you're pushing together. Um, but. Like I said, it was a good tactical move. And um, uh, Rocket Man um, took quite a um, large sticky trap in the front. Blue team has their Uber, so red team's got to be very cautious with their defense here. you got to just hang back. Hopefully the soldier getting trapped into Z, though, is dangerous. As, uh, yeah, now he's got a scout peltering him from the back. He is definitely out of position. Is probably going to go down. And, um, yeah, DBZ finally going down. And uh, red team having to fall back. So, uh, I think... With, Besides DBZ, that was a, a good attempt at um, holding the second point. 
Um, but uh, DBZ, you know, he, he was just stuck into a very unfavorable position on the on the side there, um, and uh, not able to you know spam rockets from upper or you know. Um, the blue team just did a really good job just forcing their way in and through uh, the, the garage door. And if you don't have Uber, that's really hard to hold. And blue team does not have Uber right now. And this is actually a very silly push from blue team uh, since we are doing some coaching. Um, you know, they force the red team to use the Uber, which is good. But red team should have no problem uh, capturing the second point as long as things go their way. But actually, yeah, now nice jump from Yuki. Doing some work done. And actually, uh, blue team has gotten a chance to get some players up. And Flynn picking up that kill actually probably means that red team should not really push in. They're back to five up, um, but you might as well just keep your small uber advantage and just just play tight defense. Um, yeah, and definitely you know a little bit more on that last interaction as I'm sure this is going to be a bit of a stall period. Um, as they were losing that second point, you know they had uber uh, DBZ went down, but if you can if if you Ha if you know that you, the opponent's going to have to uber into you and then you're going to have uber, it's worth just playing that second point safe because, uh, you know, hopefully what would happen with your plans is uh, you fall back um, and uh, they uber into you and then you counter uber and raffle stomp all over them. Um, so here, um, the red team has actually been slow on their building. Um, if you were paying close attention to the uber, oh, nice shot. If you're playing close attention to the uber, advan uh, the uber percentages, uh, you would definitely have seen that that red team started with a 10% advantage then fell behind But uh, in this uh, offensive push here blue team red team has been able to uber late um, and uh, they have survived which um, uh, Was good good for you guys because uh, that, that was looking like it was gonna be a little tough So they're still having a hold and uh, blue team looked like maybe they could have been a bit more aggressive there um, as uh, red team was pushed down to three players and looks like they're gonna try and um, off uber push uh, or off cycle push um, I guess you know play, the, the teams don't have the uber a little bit missed jump going into the window um, there he goes and uh, this is a, a good move here just take a quick peek at blue team and yeah the demo man uh, actually has his eyes up there but um, yeah a couple blue team keeping a close eye on the um, upper area there but uh, yeah actually he blew the stickies but killed the scout not the not the soldier who gets behind and blue team now or sorry red team now has the uber advantage with the build uh, they're looking in and uh, with DBZ on top they are gonna push in um, seems like very good coordination there but the medics got to hook up with DBZ um, and that does not happen so um, that was a good push out but DBZ pushing into the blue team so hard uh, you definitely should have been planning on using that uber to protect him um, and now the counterattack from blue team they're getting results so far um, and um, actually a back cap going on so uh, looks like a very good distracting back cap the scout taken down though and you have a 20 second respawn timer so um, you know it's maybe debatable how helpful that back cap actually was um, we'll see if the numbers really come into play here good rollers over the top from the blue team red team recognizes it gets off the point but they still need to like secure and focus on this left time left side as I say that the scout runs up takes out super Jeeves so uh, red team is hurting but um, yeah until rocket man scored the uh, pipe on DBZ oh should have just actually kept the pressure on the medic there uh, the scout um, yeah the demo man really got flanked there uh, just too much pressure from uh, the blue team really finally overpowering the red team um, but uh, some uh, good defensive moments um, definitely <clears throat> definitely let's see how they uh, roll out on this third round goes certainly if you're not always practicing uh, your rollouts you don't always get them and a DBZ should be jumping as much as possible but the uh, red medic needs to keep his heels on someone and um, actually he's still got him right now which is uh, very good loses him for a second DBZ though is definitely being smarter about it he's getting the uh, buff on Yuki but really you need to get your your roamer buffed uh, so both soldiers are jumping but then get jumped on. So one soldier then pushes two soldiers off of the boxes. Your medic falls back and immediately you are not being aggressive. You just let like blue team uh, take the point. I mean, uh, somebody got some kills there. Let's pull this up real quick. Um, looks like, uh, well, it looks like Yuki got a kill. Nerd Slapper got a kill and um, uh, DBZ got a kill. So it looks like it was, it was spread around a little bit. Everybody on the team was doing work. Uh, but certainly we saw on the boxes 
you had both of your soldiers jump up and then one single blue soldier jumps up and knocks both soldiers off. Really, if you're gonna plan on um, jumping both of your soldiers, uh, you know, you should either uh, jump them, um, you know, or come through garage and uh, jump up on top of what are their boxes, um, you know, with both soldiers, uh, you know, or, you know, cycle them, you know, have one soldier jump and then, you know, he falls back down as he sees their soldier jump or, uh, you know, the, the other soldier jumps in response. Um, both soldiers jumping uh, didn't really work out so well for him. They still won the middle fight, though, definitely. And, uh, you know, I mean, there's uh, tons of possibilities uh, at the middle. There's tons of different ways to play it. Um, so, you know, it, it all comes down to your roster and what your overall plan is. Uh, and that's what's most important is, you know, you need to have, um, you know, you need to think about what the opponent is going to do and how they might react to what you do. Um, and also how you're going to react to the different possibilities of what they're going to do. So, uh, red team, um, definitely that soldier way too far forward with just 43% uber on super jeeves. If you're gonna, if that soldier was trying to pressure an uber pop, you basically need to say, okay, you know, soldier, go for it, and then just leave him alone. Oh my god, is he gonna get this? Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, yeah, I guess that demo just stopped working on us, uh, which is a little disappointing. I was really getting excited to see if that spy back cap was gonna be work, was gonna work out, and whether it was gonna be a moment of glory or a glimpse of mediocrity. I don't know what was going on with that thing, man. It just totally crashed on us, and then I tried to load up uh, a couple more times and try to load it up, you know, uh, back to where it was, and it just kept crashing on me. So I think that's going to be it for this uh, episode of Coach Eckstein. Um, Granary Middle Point is real tricky, and I know a lot of teams have problems with it. Uh, my suggestions to this team are, you know, definitely really solidify that rollout with the soldiers. It got better on the third round in terms of timing. Um, and in terms of DBZ, you know, hitting his jump, staying with the medic. But um, also, you know, you, you really need to look at where the heals are right when you get there. Um, you know, if you have 300 health and you walk in and your other sh soldier doesn't, you should just jump on top of the box. And then if you're the pocket, drop back, back down later. Um, and it, it seemed like uh, you guys are just really having troubles getting out of that choke point, uh, which is, is really important. And... Um, Rotating the, the soldiers up top is a great strategy, um, you know, or just, you know, but don't let yourself get bombed off of there. Don't throw two soldiers up on top of your boxes and then let yourself get bombed off there. You know, designate those roles a little bit more um, and watch out for each other. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. You know, we'll be continuing this series and um, I'm sure we'll be having fun and also, you know, taking more detailed looks at mid rollouts or, or doing all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, leave you guys' feedback, and um, yeah, great, great times. Um, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Peace out.